rocket technology has definitely come a long way since the days of Soyuz 2 and Apollo 11. Decades later, the next big change in the way rocket engines are engineering is being brought out by SpaceX. You will be amazed to see the genius behind the design of SpaceX's Raptor engines. Welcome, dear viewers. Today, we will take a look into the incredible engineering and skillful design of SpaceX's recent Raptor rocket engines that is at the core of all of their current and future plans. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe to Future File to watch more fascinating videos on futuristic tech. The Raptor engine is described as a cryogenic liquid methane and liquid oxygen fueled rocket engine and is designed to be highly reusable with a staged combustion system. Use of liquid methane and liquid oxygen is a break from SpaceX's previous rocket engines that used a refined petroleum kerosene and liquid oxygen. Although earlier concepts for the Raptor called for the use of liquid hydrogen as fuel instead of methane, the use of liquid oxygen turned out to be the right choice in the end, as the Raptor can produce much more than twice the thrust force of the Merlin engine used in SpaceX's Falcon 9. Due to the engine being able to achieve such high performance standards, the Raptor is fully intended to power SpaceX's upcoming Starship launch vehicle, which is designed to replace all of SpaceX's current spacecraft, such as the Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, and Dragon 2. Given the very heavy payload figure Starship is intended to carry, only an engine as powerful and as forceful as the Raptor would suffice. The first Raptor engine prototypes went up with the Starhopper prototype, the precursor to the Starship prototypes in July 2019. Even though the Raptor is still being developed and improved, it has already achieved the distinction of being the first full flow staged combustion rocket engine ever flown. It is also currently producing the highest combustion chamber pressure of any rocket engine ever designed. At 33,000 kilopaxels, it greatly outperforms the Russian government's effort with the RD-701 rocket engine, which reaches a chamber pressure of 30,000 kilopascals. Development of the engine first began in 2009, and until 2015, it was entirely funded by SpaceX's private investments. United States Air Force would go on to convince SpaceX to take $33.6 million in funding from the Department of Defense to fully develop the Raptor engine at first as an upper stage for Falcon 9. Since 2016, the Raptor engine has been powering all of the Starship and Starhopper prototypes. The decision to use a liquid methane and oxygen mix was the biggest change for the engine's design. At the engine's very core, it is not unlike other engines which burn chemical fuel to produce thrust. Methane was chosen to power Raptor especially because of the potential to produce more thrust, make the rocket reusable with little refurbishment, and drive down costs all at the same time. Using methane prevents a buildup of deposits in the engine which would then require long refurbishment to fix up if the rocket ever returned to Earth for reuse. This was an issue in SpaceX's earlier Falcon rockets, and it drove costs up. Another important aspect of the Raptor engine's design is the use of the full-flow staged combustion mechanic, making Raptor only the third engine design in history to use such a mechanic. In a full-flow staged combustion engine, the pump spinning the turbine to get the engine running will use a small amount of propellant fuel to get the entire process started. This is known as the pre-burner. Traditionally, rocket engines have used the open cycle system to fire up their engines. Raptor's full flow stage combustion system eschews this in favor of managing to use every drop of propellant available, which makes it the most efficient rocket engine built so far. Earlier attempts at a full-flow stage combustion system were unsuccessful at the hands of the Soviet Union in the 1960s and the United States in the early 2000s. According to space consultant Charlie Garcia of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, all of the pre-burner allocated fuel is burned through burning it at a very high pressure. The very high pressures involved steers the fire from the pre-burner back into the combustion chamber and completely burn that propellant with the rest of the propellants. As stated previously, 
the Raptor exerts a much higher pressure force than anything seen before, almost three times greater than the engine force exerted by SpaceX's previous venture, known as Merlin. Having a pressure output of about 33,000 kilopascals, new metal alloys had to be created to allow the rocket to safely exert all that much increased thrust. The Raptor engine can output a grand total of 2,200 kilonewtons of thrust, far greater than anything seen ever before. Coming back to talking about the decision to use methane instead of the traditionally used rocket fuels such as kerosene, refined petroleum, or hydrogen, it is clear that it has numerous benefits. SpaceX are not the only ones that are moving to methane to power their rockets as Blue Origin, a brainchild of Jeff Bezos, is also hard at work developing their own methane-powered engine. Most rocket engine designs in the past have used kerosene, or rather the variant used as rocket fuel known as refined petroleum. The main benefit of using methane is its ability to burn with much more intensity and output more energy in a smaller volume than kerosene, which seems it has a much higher performance. This also means that the rocket can be made smaller due to the lower volume required, all of which comes together to bring down the total launching costs down. The importance of the engineering feat accomplished by the Raptor engine is nothing short of spectacular and cannot be understated either. Use of a methane propellant and the increased thrust from said propellant could be said to be absolutely crucial to all of SpaceX's plans. Currently, a few adjustments and improvements to the Raptor engine design is needed to be able to effectively carry out its design goal of sending the Starship up to space according to its design missions. SpaceX is looking to build an immense number of Raptor engines at any given time. One Starship vehicle is powered by six of these Raptor engines, and the Super Heavy rocket booster uses 35, making for a total of 41 Raptor engines that are working each launch. SpaceX wants to fly Starship for just $2 million in operating costs per launch. They also plan to use the Raptor-powered Super Heavy booster to put the Starlink satellites into space, a total of 12,000 satellites by the end of the 2020s. SpaceX's other launch plans also includes eventually sending flights of 50 to 100 passengers with cargo to trips to the Moon and finally Mars. Achieving all of this within the 2030s or even the 2040s will make a gargantuan effort by SpaceX to manufacture as many Raptor engines as humanly and mechanically possible. SpaceX's leadership understands this acutely, and CEO Elon Musk has stated that he wants SpaceX to eventually be able to build one Raptor engine every 12 hours. Reaching a production rate of one rocket engine per 12 hours is, again, completely unheard of within the rocket industry. More analysts have stated that it would be quite impressive of SpaceX managing to build an engine per week. However, the company is precisely known for pushing the envelope continuously. The Raptor engine's design is symbolic of SpaceX's recent shift from launches within the Earth-Moon system to launches towards the greater solar system. Elon Musk has continually expressed his desire to be able to conduct exploration missions of the breadth of the solar system, and Raptor's breakthroughs in engine thrust capabilities is a step in the right direction. Methane's boiling point makes it highly usable on long-distance duration trips, as planned by SpaceX. This simple choice of fuel will enable a Starship to make trips to Mars and beyond and back without any issues. The low volume requirement of methane in line with the thrust produced is also a very good fit for spacecraft using it. Not having to carry around useless dead weight is another great advantage offered by the Raptor engine. Everyone is quite confident about the Raptor engine's capability to perform the tasks required, including ourselves. We also hope that SpaceX is also going to be successful building enough of these to make trips to Mars a reality by the 2030s. Let us know what you think of the Raptor rocket engine, a massive leap in making rocket launching cheaper and a step in the right direction towards making space travel more viable. Do you think the engine can succeed in this purpose and go on to take us to Mars and beyond? 
Or do you think SpaceX may buckle under the pressure of having to produce so many of these highly advanced rocket engines to meet their allocated goals for the future? If you like this video, you may also enjoy our full playlist on space exploration that is shown in the end screen. And please subscribe to Future File to watch more fascinating videos on futuristic tech.